Hey, Michael, you were uh, you kind of played all over the place at Southern Miss, right? Running back and receiver and everything. Yeah, yes, sir. What uh, what were teams and during the during the draft process? What were teams looking at you as? Um, most of them were looking at me as a slot receiver. Uh, a few wanted me to play running back, but you know, uh, I didn't really care. I just wanted to get my foot in the door because you know, once I got up here, I was just gonna make the most of it. And how did you pick the Colts? Um, well, I, the Colts were the first to reach out to me. Uh, I talked to Jamie, uh, the scout here, and, you know, we kind of developed a good relationship. So if it came down to it in the free agent process, I was I was definitely going to pick uh, Indianapolis. George Bremer? You talked about making the most of your opportunities. I, last week when we were in the little bit of practice that we got to see, it looked like you were working a lot with Phillip Rivers. Uh, how quickly can that relationship be built? And how important was that process? Uh, you know, it's a it's a big step for me, you know, gaining the trust of my teammates, especially Phil. You know, Phil's been doing it for over 15 years now. You know, uh, he's a wily vet. So whatever I can learn from these guys, uh, the receiver room, they just put their arms around me, teaching me the ins and outs of everything. So. I'm just, you know, taking it all in uh, and just trying to keep uh, building that trust in my teammates. What were your takeaways from your first NFL game on Sunday? Uh, I felt like I had a solid performance. Uh, felt like I came in and did what I needed to do. Uh, Coach Wynn put me in a situation where um, I wasn't able to succeed. So I came in the game with a lot of confidence and was just ready to make plays when my number was called. Jim Iowa. Yeah, just a couple of questions. But first of all, what was that first catch like? What did that feel like for you? Uh, you know, uh, it's been a dream of mine to play in the NFL. So after I made that first catch, um, it was just really big for me. It was a big moment for me. Uh, you know, first catch, first down, I'm number 12, 12 yard gain. I know it's just like, it's just God talking to me. It's just a blessing to be out there. Speaking of the 12, there was some talk about that, that being, a, you know, that was a big nine number here in Indianapolis. Was that, was that your choice? Well, how'd that, how'd that work out? Oh, well, I heard it was the only number available. You know, at the end of the day, it's just a number. You know, Andrew Luck, great player. You know, number one draft pick, of course. Um, definitely uh, just trying to, you know, trying to make, you know, make a statement on my own. Um, not really too big into, you know, who had it before me. But, you know, I do understand that, you know, Luck had it before me. So it was a big, you know, big thing, I guess. Right, my, my real question for you was going to be about just running out of the slot. And you talked about some of the receivers helping you out. During training camp, were you were – you, were you shadowing a guy like Paris Campbell or what was that like for you during during training camp and, and, and this last few weeks? Uh, definitely. Uh, Paris, man. Paris taught me a lot during training camp. Paris and uh, Artavis Scott. Um, Artavis is no longer here, but he taught, they taught me a lot, man. Coming from running back last year, it's definitely stuff I need to work on. Uh, but those guys are the guys I definitely lean on. Zach Pascal, T.Y., uh, Marcus Johnson, uh, Darice Fountain, all those guys, man. Joel Erickson. The role, the role you're playing right now, it, did they, did the Colts make it easy for you, make it a little easier for you to, to make the transition just, just by the way they're using you right now? Uh, definitely. It's definitely uh, how I envision myself being used, uh, you know, coming into the league. Um, this is a great system for me. Uh, Coach Nick Sirianni, Coach Frank Wright, they're doing a, a great job drawing, drawing the plays up, putting me in good uh, positions to be successful. And Coach Grow, you know, teaching me different techniques, uh, stuff like that, just really helping. Did Did you think that? Did you think? I mean, I know you started on the practice squad, but did Did you think at the start of the season that you, you'd get to make your debut this year? Uh, I I felt like I would. Uh, you know, my I talk to my dad just about every day. He just tells me keep turning, whether it's you know being elevated like I was last week or just chipping away on the practice squad. Man, I'm just trying to get better day by day. Go well, one more here, Philby. Yeah, I, I missed the first part of your answer, and I know you're talking about, you know, the joy of being out there and your first catch. I'm just curious, uh, how long does it take to to get into it and, and realize, okay, it's just football, or are you still trying to come down off that that buzz of being able to play in your first game? Um, after I caught that little first screen or whatever, uh, I just kind of, you know, took a deep breath and was like, you know, I belong here. Uh, do what you do. It's just a game. You've been doing this your whole life. You belong. And that was the only thing I was telling myself. Thank you, sir.
Awesome. Thanks to Michael. Sure. Appreciate your time. Thank you.